everyone and welcome to my channel. Make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button and that notification bell so you never miss a new video or a live stream and give me a big thumbs up at the end of the video. What's up fam? It's your girl Shakisha of Her Lovely Plan and I am back today with another planner related video. This is what I like to call Throwback Thursday and I'm throwing it back with another classic plan with me. Now, disclaimer, uh, I am participating in the One Planner Challenge, so I'm not actually doing any planning in any of my planners that I am filming deco in. The only planner I am using is my A5 planner. However, I still want to provide you all with content and show you all the different ways to set up your spreads for your week, whether you are participating or not in the One Planner Challenge. I still want y'all to see how I am um, how I decorate my classic and my mini um, and those things and another disclaimer I'm actually not planning in any of my happy planners anymore except for my faith planner so any content that I put out there even though they won't be won't be any after the pin I still want to be able to show you how you can create a decorative and functional spread whether you're in a happy planner, a traveler's notebook, a regular notebook, or even an Erin Condren, whatever your planner is, I wanna be able to show you how you can plan because I am a deco and functional style planner. Um, and I like to have a lot of deco as well as enough space to write my plans. So with all of those disclaimers being said, let's jump right into this week's decorate with me all right so i've already covered up the tannish colored lines with this washi i used some striped and some polka dot washi as well on the bottom it had like some kind of splash design um, and i covered that up as well polka dots on one side and the stripes on another and you guys i don't know what made me think i could plan with these on the disc that's exactly why i don't have a spiral planner because that big piece gets in the middle and y'all know i like to take my planner pages and turn them upside down sideways and all of that stuff so what we're going to do right now is just finish laying these box stickers um and then i'm gonna go to these adorable flower stickers i don't know how i missed that these stickers were already designed um split in half um, and what I mean by split in half, you guys know when I do my spreads and I like to put flowers, I like to cut them in half so I can use them in multiple places and as well as give it kind of like a pick a boo or pop out effect. So it's cool that these stickers were like that. I really enjoyed doing this black and white. I really wanted to use these coffee cups that had the gold in it but I wanted to stay true to the black and white spread so I just decided to use these cute little tum tumblers um, with the straws in them and because I don't want to use the dates that's on the top of this because it has that tannish color I'm just as you see whiting it out I'm gonna go over it with some um, washi tape i'm going to use the same washi tape that i have on the bottom i'm just going to alternate the sides and then just put the date dots that's in the journal and sticker book now i will say this um i'll give you a recommendation if you are one of those planners that just like black and white or you just don't like a lot of color but you do want some decoration these journaling sticker books are amazing 
So if you can still get your hands on these books, I would definitely say get these um, sticker books. And if you can get more than one, I would. Just because, you know, you can, if you're a white space planner, you got you some white stickers. I mean, and it's got a little bit of black around it. So you can't go wrong with this sticker book. And as well, I mean, if you want to customize them and color them in, you can do that as well. But this sticker book, this one is the journaling and then the journal doodling one. They are absolutely gorgeous. I never thought that I would like black and white stickers as much as I do in this sticker book. Okay, so back on Jock and this sticker book. So I love these little um, dot check it off type stickers. I always try to use the line it up check it off stencil and it's either um, I draw the lines or the circles on there crooked or it just doesn't look good. So. I feel like when I speak things, Happy Planner hears me because all last year I just kept saying, I need Happy Planner to make a floral sticker book just with florals. So this year they finally did it. So Happy Planner, can y'all sometime soon just make a sticker book or like an accessory pack um, with all of these little check dot type stickers? I mean, these are so perfect. I mean, you can use them in any planner you can use them um you can just use them anywhere i mean they're so perfect it looks like they're hand drawn um they're so perfect that's all i gotta say so i love these little dot check it off stickers that you can use so what i'm doing over here is i'm just covering up that spot because again the colors didn't match i did want to put washi on that left part um, to cover up the tan lines that were under the um, little, I call it the, what do you call that side? The sidebar. Um, but I decided just to cover up with a sticker and then just find some icon stickers to put in those boxes. And this sticker right here was perfect. Um, so I just used a sticker and I'm going to go ahead and put a note to self in the box below and that'll be it. So I'm gonna go ahead and end um, all of this rambling and let you just finish enjoying watching this decorate with me. Um, if you like this so far, keep watching until the end. Trust me, it's almost over.
Okay, you guys, so I am finished my spread in my classic happy planner, and this is a vertical style happy planner, if I did not say that at the beginning of the video. So, what can I say about this spread? It's absolutely gorgeous. It's very decorative and very functional. It's white space with and without stickers. I mean, this spread is perfect for the white space planner. I know I hear a lot of planner babes, they're like, I'm white space, I don't like a lot of color and a lot of decoration. I really recommend if you are a white space planner, but you wanna play around with decorations, get the journaling sticker books from the Happy Planner because they have nothing but black and white stickers. They have a few that have like gold and silver trim on them. But for the most part, that those two sticker books it's the journaling and the journaling doodle one. Those two sticker books are perfect for a white space planner. Um, but, I mean, I'm speechless. I really don't know what to say. It's sad that I'm not actually planning in this <laughs> spread. But I'm really enjoying how this looks. Um, again, disclaimer. My classic and mini happy planners, I'm only doing decorate with me's. So I'll probably change the title of those videos um, just because I don't want to allude that I am planning in all of these planners. I found planner piece in my traveler's notebooks and that's what I'll use for my planning purposes. But because I love you guys, I wanna still create these amazing spreads. Well, they're amazing in my mind. <laughs> these amazing spreads so you can see how to use your planners in a decorative and functional way. So with all of that being said, thank you Diamond from the Diamond and Pearl Lifestyle channel for showing me your black and white spread because I probably would have never done one at least anytime soon so thank you thank you thank you y'all make sure y'all go subscribe to her channel and like i stated i did leave the link 
up in the top of the video earlier and it's going to be in the description box so y'all can go follow my girl so if you like this spread if you want me to do more um colorless spreads drop me a comment below let me know because y'all know i'm always open for suggestions and i will be incorporating more plan with me pen videos in my travels notebooks in the weeks to come so y'all make sure y'all look out for that and so you won't miss those videos if you haven't already done so please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so you'll never miss a new video or my sunday live streams and as well give me a big old thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and if this video has inspired you pay it forward and share this video with your planner friends so they can also be inspired to create their own lovely plan so until next time planner fam peace Thank you again for watching Her Lovely Plan and I hope that you click that subscribe button and that notification bell.